It's First Communion Weekend, everybody. So you know what that means. A church filled with little ones all dressed up, shiny faces, ready to receive Jesus for the first time. So let me tell you what you and I should do when we see this. We should remember our First Communion. Do you? I know I do. And for all of us, it's different, right? So I look at mine. It was a long time ago, and it was in Porchester, New York. You know, I have looked. The church there has gone through so many changes. It has a different name. It has gone from one parish to a multitude of parishes, all of that. All of that has changed, but the thing that really hasn't is the memory of receiving Jesus, right? So all of us have that. I think of my RCI heirs, okay? So that's a technical term for people going through RCIA or who have gone through RCIA. And my RCI heirs, their first communion is different isn't going to look like the one from this weekend, right? It's not going to look like the little ones with their hands pressed and their white dresses and veils or little suits. It was different. But it was important nonetheless, right? And not only important, memorable, life-changing. So as we go into First Communion Weekend, I want us to think about that. Think about all the times we have gone to communion, the important occasions of our life. Think about the memories of those times. And may one lead us to another. You know, that's what it kind of did for me. I was thinking about it for the bulletin this weekend, and I'm amazed. I can't count. I tried. <laughs> tried to count how many communions I've received. I maybe could take a swag at it, but it wouldn't be accurate. I think of the places that I have received. I think of the grace in all of those times that I've been given. Thanks be to God for the sacraments that we have been given and what they do in our life. So on this First Communion Weekend, get ready to have a flood of memories come your way. And I invite you to meditate on them and be grateful for the Jesus that comes to us in the Holy Eucharist. May we never forget what this means. May we always believe about the Jesus that is truly present in that consecrated bread and wine every Sunday or every day that Mass is offered at Holy Trinity and any parish in the world. Thanks be to God for a Jesus who loves us enough to come and stay with us. Have a great rest of your week. See you on the weekend. Remember, be well, what would the word be? Be gentle with um, the people that are visiting. Parking might be tough. Anyway, Thanks be to God for First Communicants, for Mass, for our parish. See you on Sunday. Talk to you.